today my topic is the extended Kalman filter. So target tracking is often difficult due to noise measurement. System need to filter out the noise to predict the true path and the position of the target. So considering the target is moving in 3D Cartesian coordinate having non-linear measurement from the sensor, extended Kalman filter is successfully used to reduce the variation in measurement guessing the true target range, azimuth and elevation. It is the best and recursive filter for the non-linear target estimation. Use filter when we communicate with other people normally and target tracking nice is added to our measurement data and disturb them. For accurate estimation, these data need to be passed through the filter to get accurate target position and path. Kalman filter is an optical estimator which minimizes the mean square error of parameter being estimated, epnices the Gaussian. So Kalman filter is designed to work in the discrete time domain, but for the non-linear state transition, extended Kalman filter and the unscented Kalman filter is used. Extended Kalman filter have applications in various fields such as aircraft guidance, tracking target using radar such as aircraft or missiles and navigation control. So like Kalman filter, extended Kalman filter consists of two parts. The first part is the prediction part in which, in which includes the estimates of the current states, variables and their uncertainty. And for finding the current state, the correct states, these estimates are used with the measurement and random nice. Extended Kalman filter is used for non-linear measurement of the sensor. Practically, extended Kalman filter gives good result due to the optimality and is easy to formulate and implement. Due to the stochastic nature measurement, extended Kalman filter is used for the state estimation. The state prediction and estimation part of the Kalman filter can be expressed as So, suppose we have a question that the target is now moving and the target is moving in the x, y and z plane. Velocity of target is along x axis 7 meter per second, along y is 7 meter per second and 0 meter per second along the z axis. Starting point is 15 meter along the x axis. 15 meter along the y axis and 200 meter along the z axis. Sampling time is 0.05 second and total time is 40 second. The measurement obtained from the sensor is non-linear so extended Kalman filter will be used for the state estimation. Mean variance of measured noise is range 0, 0,9, azimuth 0, 0,1 and elevation 0, 0,1 mean that the mean of range is 0 and standard deviation of uh, sorry variance of range is 9 mean of azimuth is 0 and variance of azimuth is 1 mean of elevation is 0 and variance of elevation is 1 so state vector can be expressed as x position y position z position and x velocity y velocity and z velocity so x will be 6 times 1 matrix Okay, so, uh, so state transition matrix can be written as F equal to I3, T I3, O I3 and I3 where O3 is a 3 cross 3 0 matrix, I3 is a 3 cross 3 identity matrix and due to non-linearity, Jacobian matrix will be used instead of the measurement state matrix and can be defined as H X K given K equal to D by D X of R D, uh, d by dx of r d by dx of uh, d by dy of r and d by d z of r okay so h is a linear measurement matrix and these derivatives can be find as dr by dx equal to x divided by under root x square plus y square plus z square dr by dy equal to y divided by under root x square plus y square plus z square dr by dz equal to z divided by under root z square plus y square plus z square and derivative of azimuth with respect to x equal to y divided by x square plus y square and d f and to z i by dy equal to x divided by under root x square plus y square and d by az i divided by uh, derivative of z equal to 0 
and the derivative of elevation with respect to x is equal to minus xz divided by d square under root x square plus y square derivative of elevation with respect to y equal to minus yz divided by d square under root x square plus y square and same as z okay so d can be expressed as under root x square plus y square plus z square measurements include the target range azimuth and elevation and can be expressed as range equal to under root x square plus y square plus z square azimuth equal to 10 inverse of y by x and elevation equal to 10 inverse n to z divided by under root x square plus y square plus z square okay so as a mean and variance of measurement nice as range 0 9 azimuth 0 1 elevation 0 1 so measurement covariance matrix will be equal to r equal to 9 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 the process nice vk will be considered as zero and nice will be added to generate the nice measurement okay so the root mean square error will be root mean square error with respect to x root mean square error with respect to y and root mean square with respect to z equal to z of target minus z of estimation square and to under root and the root mean square error of position will be under root root mean square error square a with respect to x root mean square error with respect to y whole square and root mean square with respect to z whole square and hold under the root okay so the matlab implementation of this code is so here we have the matlab code of the extended kalman filter we will run the prediction and estimation part up to 500 times and then average the overall results uh, to reduce the errors similarly we have the initial position 15 meter 15 meter and 200 meter along the z axis 7 meter per second along x axis 7 meter per second along y axis and 0 meter per second along z axis as the velocity here we have the r matrix okay so i am going to run the code So here we have the <coughs> estimated elevation, the measured elevation and the true elevation. The estimated elevation uh, are shown in the red color, the measured estimation are shown in the uh, green color and the true elevation are shown in the um, black color. Similarly this figure shows us the azimuth, estimated azimuth, measured azimuth and the true azimuth. Uh, it can be shown from the figure that estimated uh, azimuth are clo nearly close to the measured azimuth here we have the estimated range measured range and the true range target position and estimated position on x axis estimated position and true position on y axis estimated position and true position on z axis similarly we can see that the mean square error of position has been reduced to zero with respect to time and mean square error of velocity has also been reduced to nearly to zero with respect to time thank you